hi guys salam alaikum welcome back to my channel and um yes this is the this one is not even weekly because it's been like a month right i've been super super busy you know with the family business and at this point i'm sure you'll be like this girl does she this woman does she eat pancake every day in her house no it's not every day maybe like twice a week because my child loves pancakes anyway um it's like i mentioned it's been such a hectic um month but we thank god so many things happened and yes i'll take you along and because you guys asked for recipes um i'll be giving i think two recipes here two or three i'm not sure but you'll see and yes i hope you enjoy oh before i forget um this was like a month's recording but i decided to split it into two so that it doesn't get boring and what else yeah so for breakfast um i paired the pancakes with spiced tea uh, yes this is a recipe so um you just add in your evaporated milk after that you add in condensed milk um there's no specific amount actually whatever um, amount you want to put but just put little sugar with the concentrate the evaporated milk and there's powdered milk as well just mix everything together mix and mix this is so easy to make and then you pour your shy mix you can use beyond comment if you know beyond comment just you know boil it and put it what is it you made something like karak or masala shy is that easy and for lunch i made vegetable soup with scent leaf <laughs> okay so as you guys said you want more recipes let me give you this traditional soup recipe so this is basically um pepper mix with onions atarugu habanero and um yes palm oil so i'm just frying it i want it to fry very well after that i'll let you know just, just, just fry it properly to my neighbor's house to get these <laughs> if you think my garden is you like my garden you need to see hers she has like all sorts of um leaves in fact she grows she even grows what you call it um yeah anyway i've never used this before i'm just going to do what i can do with it Yeah, so see sorry uh, i'm just gonna throw this in here because i don't know whether it takes long to cook this is not usually what i do when i'm making vegetable soup because i put the vegetable at the end but since <laughs> i'm experimenting this i want to put this at the beginning so that i'll know how um how long it takes to be soft okay. i just hope the scent doesn't go because i'm putting it inside uh, good luck. Good luck, Joanne. Here. So, I've allowed it to fry for a few minutes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my pepper a bit. I'm going to add in crayfish. I love this soup, honestly. Spoons of crayfish, powdered crayfish, dry and powdered. Then, I'm going to add in black pepper see even traditional food i put black pepper wow this is smells good already i'm going to add in seasoning cube now and salt maybe i cooked my fish since i just boiled my fish with um, what do you call it with garlic and what have you like how it is frying see you can if you put pepper and salt you can when I say salt, pepper and salt, you can eat just like this. Because it's already smelly and looking good. Now salt. Um, I'm going to put in yuru or the dawa. You know the dawa, this is the original the dawa. I'm also going to put in the powder. 
about the fresh one first be a quick story between the relationship i have with this amazing um stew is it stew or soup vegetable soup so the first time i tried it was maybe about i don't know 15 years ago or so at my sister's house i was like what she gave me rice and vegetable soup i was like what Ada? I didn't say that but you know I was like nah I'm not gonna try it she even made it for our dad and um, I'm like Kuma Baba would eat this and she's like ah Baba that lived with Yoruba people and he can speak Yoruba what are you talking about that it is the best thing ever and I tried it my goodness my sister makes the best food you wouldn't even understand she makes the best i'm not a fan of couscous but she made me love couscous and this one whenever i see whenever i taste really nice um what do you call it vegetable soup it reminds me of my sister Allah. she's so good with her hands mashallah so yeah like i said she she's one of my inspirations as well so yeah, unfortunately there's no light, so I couldn't, um, I could not, um, what do you call it, I could not, um, hey, where's the English microwave my meat, so I'm just gonna throw it inside, I usually cook, um, meat and keep it, so, um, my sister's grandmother once told me that, um, in the olden days, how they would differentiate whether you are rich or not is by the size of your meat hmm. our people shall they are one kind but now is it about that who knows <laughs> i think times have changed you know maybe those days man they didn't have vegetarians because even in our house we have a vegetarian <laughs> yeah so I'm not saying i'm rich oh. it's just a story so this is my meat you can see it's frozen i just i turned off the gas and cookie um yeah so you can see it's frozen and there's stock around it because i'm not going to add water to it so i'm going to add the dough this is the dough i got from tea away so this is my go to the dough honestly it's so convenient i use it all the time and um it's a bit not spicy but there is a dawa and i think a little bit of ginger i'm not sure so i'm going to add my the dawa there can't be enough the dawa when you're making uh, the vegetable soup and i don't know if you can see properly but the water is, is starting to melt the stock it's starting to melt so it's not oil anymore So I usually put um, dried fish, but I'm not using dried fish this time around. I'm using, let me show you my fish. This is the fish I cooked earlier. I don't know if you can see properly. Yeah. I'm just gonna put some in there. I'm not going to waste time. Inside is not spinach, so I don't even know what it's called. It's called in English, honestly. Somebody wants to know all this while well, I thought it was spinach. Spinach, my clothes, and leftover rice from the other day. Anyway, I usually cook and keep in case I need to. It's an emergency. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna steam it and I'm going to serve it with it. Really good. 
Mm. Eat this with rice, and I guarantee you, you stop eating rice with stew. I am out and I am not driving today. Let me show you my driver. <laughs> <laughs> am I paying you for this? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not paying you anything. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm on my way to see my sister. Yeah, so um, I made vegetable soup for her and I hope she likes it. We're going to see her reaction. You know, I told you guys about the vegetable soup story. So, you know, I told, what was that flash? Hey, yeah, you may have to put up. Anyway, um, so, like I said, we'll see you we'll hear what she has to say about my vegetable soup. I was wondering what was flashing. Let us see they do this, and apparently. Um, it's mirror, you know, the reflection of the mirror, and I legit thought it was camera, like you know. So, the Padama advantage and I need a counter, and I can't even the counter. Because it's very hard to do it with your fingers, but he's telling me the advantage. Yeah, 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 so you heard it, that it I, improves I your focus. It, it, okay. It, it, okay. It, you experienced yeah, it. Uh, yeah. So some part I in a ama no because he had a cow in a cell and he didn't buy it in a car guy in a in a yeah so they should be moody did a come at him to see what he did a music no car guy in a way in a nipples can you zag a year again numbers in the car I can't come I'm gonna get an idea numbers no normally Goma, she ni highest. Eh, that one, she ni highest. So, so Kuma, but I just do it. Hala, hala. In the, in the one, in the non bad ones. Eh, 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 nagani. Maximum hundred. Okay. So, so but you can just keep doing it, doing it. Yes. I can count it. I actually forgot to ask my sister for a review, but she I'm sure she loved it anyway. I had mine at night. Next day I went to Dunes to buy um cheese and a few things. Ah, they wanted to cut my neck but I was the one that carried myself she anyway I got what I wanted and headed home for lunch. What I have here is two onions, two small onions, um, one garlic, and I just fried it with what you call it, with um, olive oil. No mix, pepper and onion. Uh, I mean, it might seem a little bit crazy, but what I'm going to do next is I am going to add in milk. Um, I'm gonna stir. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I put in seasoning cube and um, black pepper. Hi, Jia. Can you keep quiet? butter up in someone. So anyway, yeah, yeah, it's a cow, cow. Let me show them. Let me show them the milk, the powdered milk. So this is um, one tablespoon of makara. Let's put two tablespoons, and we're going to put maybe half a cup of water. We have here. Yeah. I have um, one grilled chicken breast. I'm going to use it for the burrito. Ahead and add the milk for me. Can you add the milk, please? Yes, that's it. That's it. Yes, madam, mm -hmm. what you doing? We're just going to allow it to simmer for a yeah. few minutes uh, and we're going to blend it. So, yeah, I have rice here. Our normal rice cooked. Mm -hmm. We're using it for the burrito. Oh, crazy guys, this is not my go to easy sauce. So we're gonna blend this now. And we're going to use it for the base of um, for my burrito. Let me show you what it looks like after blending. See, I just want to add a little bit of 
olive oil and um, I want to fry it again and add the remaining add water into the blender and fold it then I'll put the remaining mm -hmm. put it. I want to show you guys I'm gonna add the remaining salt so that I won't waste it and I'll have enough for my burrito First try, <coughs> the first time I tried burrito was not in America, no, it was in Spain. Yep. What does this look like to you? It looks like um, this soup. Um, that's a weird bubble. Yes, when I show it in. Me and Waiki, it looks like that bean soup. Yeah, I'm just going to break some cheese. Yeah. You can do this. You can eat beef or chicken. You know what I'm doing? Yes. This is my chicken. I'm gonna put a lot, a lot, a lot of chicken. I'm gonna put my sauce. Yeah, I'm going to use our local rice. So this is basically shinkapa the waki. Why shinkapa the mere inside the body? I took a scary at me. Shinkapa the mere and you go at chicken body. Look at what we're going to have See the cheese. See cheese. Wow. Did you see that? Now let's wrap. Let's cut one. Now my eyes so cold. I'm getting shy now. Now so it's a mayonnaise. No, I ain't had the white sauce there. Now so, but I don't. So I'll just put mayonnaise just to give it a little bit of, of um, I don't know, something different. I also want to put lemon tiny. So what I'm gonna add is um, sriracha sauce. Yeah, I'm just gonna add um, sriracha. Okay, here you know to mess in any sriracha mayo. Is looking good already? What am I saying? Oh, but I'm sorry, lemon tiny. Cut and cut it. So, she can't have any more time. I'm gonna make it up. I'm gonna do this one then. So in case you've not cooked today, let me give you inspiration. Go and cook party jollof rice. This party jollof rice was partying and peppered meat. It was so so It's um Greek yogurt and um meat granola. Remember this great granola? It's so good. Okay. I keep telling people that Abuja is beautiful but they do not agree. Let me show you. Plants, my plants, we're still doing well. This is growing, 
not how I want it, but it is growing. Jama eyes, my tail is really chilly. I have to remove this. Yeah, I'll read here. Let me remove that. See that it it has um, seeds now. Let me go and do my research. I think I don't know whether I can remove them now and dry them. I really don't know. Let me just check and see. And should I tell you guys that I don't have a um, pest problem anymore? So that means that Plant Shield worked. You can check them out on Instagram. Plant Shield. Yep. Sweet oats. I just checked. Apparently, this is a moth plant, and it is very toxic um, to humans and pets. So, this weed we have, we have to remove it. It's called moth moth plant. So, my problem now is this mint bar. It has not been growing very well. Like, there's a lot of leaves on it, but it's not big. You know, I want big. Like, what is going on here? Like, I want very big leaves. This is my dead time. I hope so. So, going to keep watering it and see. Okay. This plant is really, really good. But now it is bolting. Means it's at the end of its peak. So I was invited to this Maitang Ariwa summit and it was an interesting one, honestly. With a show of hands, how many of you don't want to ever be broke in your life? Uh, some people are not raising hands. If you don't raise your hands, you will be broke. <laughs> And stamps and all that, I'd be writing letters home. When I went to school, and I want to tell him I want so so The next day, can you keep quiet? Mother? Shh, shh, shh. Sorry, guys. So the next day, um. I ran some errands and got back home. Please excuse my background. My baby is trying to distract me. But yes. And guess what I had for lunch? Well, first, do you know this famous Kilishi place in Abuja? It's in area one. Any type of Kilishi, good, bad, and ugly, I guarantee you, you'll find it here. And hmm, this lunch was so good, made by Omi Yaida Isose. I had tea, green tea at night. The next day, I went for um Sunday book club meeting. And the thing was, what's the thing again? I forgot, but it was so amazing. It was so good. It was like picnic-y, you know. We had scones, we had sandwiches, we had tea, and the setup was so beautiful, but most especially the book that we read. I think I rated it for, I'm not sure. You can check the Blur Book Club page. But yeah, it was interesting.
can I have your tea? Hi guys, salam alaikum. I hope you all are doing well. well I, I just I just got the news that someone I used to know passed away and it really touched me. I don't know why, but it did. I mean it's natural, right? So this is a reminder to all of us that we're all on borrowed time. Life is not permanent, it's temporary. And um, we need to... We usually forget, you know, we're humans. We forget that nothing is... I mean, life is not permanent. We go on with our lives. Like, it will not end. But... Really, you don't know when you're going. Nobody will tell you. There is no, there is no warning. There is nothing. Cut away at once. That's how I can tell you. So, why do you underscore gam Allah sa? Since you got the imani Allah musrahama, you might like your tena muzo. May ours be beautiful. May theirs be as well. And may Allah keep us steadfast. May he um, forgive our shortcomings. May he grant us Jannah and Fridos when the time comes. And to all of those that passed away, man. It's really sad. So, I'll see you guys soon.